And now the Cardinal offense will have possession of the football. They'll put the ball on the left side hash mark at the 25-yard line. That last touchdown pass, Tony, it was really, they, it was an empty set, and they had basically one deeper square in over a shallow square in, and uh, that's really hard. It makes it really tough to cover, and that's how he got it in there. Here we go. Tinch goes in motion to the left, and the snap play action. Brom looking to his right, throws to his right, pass is caught by Tinch at the 15, and he will be knocked down after gaining the first down. Out of bounds on the far side at the 14 and 11 yard pickup. Almost, almost intercepted. Just threaded it in there. Down to the 14 it goes. So close is right, Tony. I thought we had it. He had a good angle on it. Did a nice job reading it. But again, you give Brom credit because he had the smoke on that to get it in there. First down and 10 from the 14 yard line. Here we are in overtime. Number two tied at 31. Three receivers right, and they hand off to Michael Bush, and Bush takes it to the 10 into the 5. End zone, touchdown, Louisville. Michael Bush from 14 yards away gives Louisville the lead. 37-31 in this second overtime. That did not take long. One pass completion, and then Michael Bush scores the touchdown. And for the moment, it quiets this Mountaineer crowd, which has been in a frenzy. Now Carmody for the extra point try. Left-footed kicker out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Ball comes back, and the kick goes up, and it is good. And now the onus falls on West Virginia's offense. Can the Mountaineers find a way to score again? They have rallied from a 24-7 deficit took a 31-24 overtime lead and now find themselves behind 38-31. to White, they did it on the ground last time. Well, you know, the good thing, Tony, is we have kept that defense on the field this second half. That's what I like about it. I mean, I like going in to the overtimes against a defense that spent most of the second half on the field. I think that's a good thing. Here we go, first down and 10. From the 25-yard line in overtime, West Virginia down by seven. Shotgun formation with two receivers to the right and a single receiver, Raynaud, to the left. Shotgun snap comes back, quarterback run. Here's Pat White, takes the ball for two yards down to the 23-yard line. Time is of no consequence here. There is no play clock that runs during overtime. Game. There is a play clock, obviously, but not a game clock. Ready to go. Second down and eight for the Mountaineers. Two receivers to the left. Miles out to the right. Here's a snap. Running option. Toss play goes to Steve Slayton. Slayton to the 20. Takes it to the outside. 15, 10 down the sideline. Five. Lunges for the end zone. He is in. Touchdown. Steve Slayton. He did it again. The freshman phenom took it down the left sideline on an option. Toss and West Virginia is still alive. 38-37 in this second overtime. He has 183 rushing yards and five touchdowns. Great job on the option. Good pitch by Pat White. Got a block there out of the wide receiver and Steve made a miss. Nice job. Here we go. Chance to tie it up. McAfee is ready. The ball goes up and the kick is good. Oh, my gracious sakes alive, he almost missed it. The official underneath on the far side post was ready to signal it no good. He just made it in. We are going to a third overtime at 38 apiece. 